Hello Scorpio and welcome to Soul Sundays. Scorpio, it's a quick three card spread. I'm going to draw three cards from the tarot, one oracle card for your romance energy for the week and one card for your health energy for the week. Before we get started though, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who stuck with the channel whilst I took a little bit of time to focus on my day job. Um, I'm back now and I'm hoping that I'm going to be bringing you these readings every Sunday on a consistent matter. In a consistent matter on a consistent basis my goodness um, but I want to talk to you about what's happening more importantly in the skies so we've got six out of eight heavenly bodies that are currently retrograde right now um, Venus just turned direct but she's still in a shadow period so there are a few emotional things that are still being brought up for us um, issues around money beauty um, those kind of things that still could be a few lessons that are lingering we also have mercury that's retrograde and a few other planets as well but the most important thing that i want to tell you this week is that we have a full moon eclipse in the sign of capricorn at 13 degrees this is happening on sunday the 5th of july at 2 44 p.m australian eastern standard time so that could be um, a totally different time for you based on your time zone but it is at 44 minutes normally for most places i did have a bit of a look so that's quite kind of cool because 4-4 four four is a um, master number in numerology. So what does it mean for you, right? All of this sounds great. What does it actually mean for me, Ali? Well, it's actually retrograding. I'm um, sorry. It's actually eclipsing in your house of communication in what you think and how you connect with people. It's asking you to see your life through um, another's lens, like really try and have a different perspective. Um, so that your communication levels up. I think often we can get caught up in our own viewpoint and it's really hard to try and see it from another person's view. So um, this week you're being asked to actually go back and revise how you sometimes only see things from your side and not theirs, okay? But let's draw some more cards and get some further insight. All right, you ready? Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me clear an accurate reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Can I please have three cards? What's the most important message for Scorpio? That's too many, but I'm going to take the first three. Whoa, all mages. Doesn't surprise me at all. Um... <laughs> talk about heavy hitting energy but look it actually aligns with everything that i was just saying there before really interesting yeah okay eight of pentacles for your love message so it speaks about putting in the effort to get the rewards back you have on the table uh capricorn energy which doesn't surprise me because we've got that moon eclipse aquarius uh fixed signs can I please have one card for health? Thank you. Yeah, relationship focus. Um, so look, as I said, you're being asked to, to have a look at how you communicate. The Wheel of Fortune is here to tell you that you're in a phase of transformation. Um, this is literally everything that you know to be true turning in your favor. And it's in the upright position. So it means you're about to enter in a good phase. Yay, relief. I hear you say um, what's interesting is it's coupled with the devil so it's about restraint the devil talks about restraint bondage in forms about holding back um, and so it's asking you and I've, I've mentioned this before how are you communicating with others what are your thought processes and how are you connecting what's really beautiful about this is that it's coupled with the, the card of the star okay and this card is all about healing deep healing um, going back through um, past um, hurts and actually finding out whether they relate to you anymore or not. There is a lot of focus on relationships this week for you. So uh, don't just mean romantic relationships. I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about the relationship that you have with your children, if you have them, um, the relationship that you have with your parents. This eclipse is really asking you to delve deep into that. And if you haven't done the shadow work, if you haven't gone within to find out what no longer serves you or what doesn't make sense for you anymore, then the invitation is here to do so this week, okay? I just want you to know that whatever comes up, it's going to be healed just as quickly. You have some really beautiful energy around you and um, you are guided. There is angelic guidance around you okay i believe that we all have that regard regardless of your religious faith but for you particularly you need to hear that this week because i feel like um 
there's, there's going to be a few things that come up or come to light as your as the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and this is good luck right this is good luck this is um abundance this is wealth this is beauty all coming your way all lining up this is really beautiful energy but it's only going to be yours once you've done the work once you've done the inner work the shadow work and release what no longer serves you because ultimately at its core um, this is a card of being bound of being tied to someone right something something um some some unsubconscious behavior a pattern of behavior it's, it's asking you to heal that so you can move on particularly when it comes to love for some of you it could also be talking about work um, and maybe you've had a disagreement with an authority figure or a boss um, over a promotion you're still going to get the promotion you're still going to be put forward you're still going to get the job opportunity whatever however it pertains to you it's still going to come your way but it's important that you soothe that connection before um, you progress okay so you've had words if it's been a bit tense um, swallow a little bit of humble pie and come forward now what's interesting is that you've got um, pentacles in your love card and the eight of pentacles speaks about um, putting in effort and reaping the rewards right and you think pentacles which is represents material um, aspects in a love reading yeah that's what it is so I'm going to read this to you because I think it's really interesting at how it aligns to this and doing the inner work of what I've been talking about right it says work perseverance skill and understanding creating and maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence you've shown that you have what it takes and you're dedicated through your life's experiences, you've learned some valuable interpersonal skills. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends, and your partner. Sorry, then it goes on to say, I just lost my page. It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity, discipline, and focus to continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. This is a good time to learn more about the people you're currently in a relationship with. The more you try to understand a person's beliefs, the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. The greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills would also be helpful at this time. You have what it takes to sustain positive, loving and supportive relationships. Keep up the good work. Beautiful. So that's exactly what i said was coming through you know just about actually doing that inner work in order to continue and and receive this harmony this success now ironically your health message is all about relationships now i don't normally read this but I f they're telling me to read it from the book because there's obviously something in here that someone needs to hear verbatim so um, you're the only sign that i've done this for this week so bear with me all right, relationship. And the meaning of this card in this deck says quite clearly, um, this card speaks of another person's influence upon the situation. It includes emotional healing within relationships. You are being asked to assist yourself with relationship and health issues, especially when they're both entwined. Um, it's asking for you to call upon the angels, Archangel Raphael, or your higher source to relieve to receive um, healing and loving communication with other people, as well as to resolve misunderstandings from the past. After all, the healing angel knows the benefits of a heart that's filled with love, peace and compassion. Right. So depending on your belief, right, um, you call upon whoever you want to. But the focus when it comes to your physical health, your mental health, your, your being, your actual health is all about relationships this week. And any wonder the whole focus is on bloody relationships. But in particular, this is saying that um, you need to ask for help from other people. OK, and it's it's the specific messages are a message about a romantic relationship is forthcoming. So getting to know where you stand and it looks like it's turning in your favor. Um, a new person will help you with the situation. Trust your intuition about the relationship you're asking about and be willing to forgive the person in question. So if someone's wronged you this is what this devil card could be, then the effort that you've put in is not lost, okay? They, they had good intentions. If, you've, if it's flipped and you've wronged someone else, then own your shit and apologize so that they can see where um, you stand is coming from a good place. If it's in, relationship, um, in relation to relationships in general or like, you know, um, work, I've told you that already, um, you need to clear that out before you'll be progressed further. 
And then when it comes to family or children, uh, I think it's really important to keep putting in that effort. It's asking you to keep putting in that effort, okay? Big focus on relationships this week, big focus on healing after any arguments. You will come through the other side, even if it feels like you're not going to. And for those that have had a really like stressful week leading up to this point and are on the edge of like breakup or something like that, I don't see that happening, okay? I see some really beautiful, heartfelt, honest conversations that help you level up and get to the next phase. All right, that was your reading, Scorpio. I hope you found it helpful. I wish you much love and light and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.